Good evening all, and welcome to my channel. And also, welcome to this week's horror stories that will guarantee to bring you chills and make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Tonight's stories are brought to you from Pinterest. Very interesting selection of stories, guaranteed to make you feel scared. Before I start and begin my tales of horror, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time that I upload. And now for the first tale. This tale tonight is brought to you by the P.I. Queen and it has no title. I shall begin. My friend and I used to love to go and hang out in one of the local cemeteries. We were just weird. This was an older cemetery and was no longer used, so it didn't have any new graves in it. One day, while we were just wandering around, we stumbled upon a new looking grave marker. It stuck out like crazy because all of the other markers were old and grey and crumbling. On some of them you could barely make out the names. This marker was much newer and the name and dates were clearly visible. It was rather neat red marble colour which was really different from all of the others. We didn't think much of it and just continued our trip through the cemetery. We sat down under this big tree in the middle and talked and laughed and did other stupid kid things. After an hour or so, we decided it was time to leave. We crossed right by where the new grave marker had been, and it was gone. We both kind of freaked out a little, and searched the whole graveyard looking for the brand new marker, and it wasn't there. We checked several more times on different visits, and we never found it again. It was just weird that neither of us could ever explain it. I hope you enjoyed that first tale of terror and I do hope that it doesn't deter you from listening to the rest. And now I shall begin my second tale of terror. And this tale is brought to you from Cheeseburger. My great aunt was in a nursing home about a year ago. Her husband died back in 2012. They have been together since she was 19 and she was in her 90s. We would visit and unfortunately watch her get worse. The nurse took my mother to one side and told her, this may sound crazy, but I am a sensitive and there has been this man standing in the corner of the room watching her. When I see this, this usually means she doesn't have long, maybe two days at most. My mum calls me and tells me about it and we rush to the nursing home to give her our last goodbyes. After the last person visited, she peacefully passed away. I hope you enjoyed that second tale of horror. And once again, I hope it doesn't deter you from listening to tonight's final story. This tale is brought to you by Creepy Stuff. 
and it is titled, There's No Reason to Be Afraid. When my sister Betsy and I were kids, our family lived for a while in a charming old farmhouse. We loved exploring its dusty corners and climbing the apple tree in the backyard. But our favourite thing was the ghost. We called her mother because she seemed so kind and nurturing. Some mornings Betsy and I would wake up and on each of our nightstands we'd find a cup that hadn't been there the night before. Mother had left them there, worried that we'd get thirsty during the night. She just wanted to take care of us. Among the house's original furnishings was an antique wooden chair, which we kept against the back wall of the living room. Whenever we were preoccupied watching TV or playing a game, Mother would inch the chair forwards across the room towards us. Sometimes we'd manage to move it all the way to the centre of the room. We always felt sad putting it back against the wall. Mother just wanted to be near us. Years later, long after we'd moved out, I found an old newspaper article about the farmhouse's original occupant. A widow. She'd murdered everyone in the house, giving them each a cup of poisoned milk before bed. She took her own life. The article included a photo of the farmhouse's living room with a woman's body hanging from the beam. Beneath her, knocked over, was a wooden chair placed exactly in the centre of the room. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's Tales of Terrors, and I would like to thank you for watching, and please remember once again to consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell, and also please take advantage of my social media channels which are in the description box below and as always i'll leave you by saying blessed be bright blessings and where you can be anything at all then please be kind because being kind is the most beautiful type of person that you can be thank you and good night